We are cooking today from Dallas Cuisine, a sampling of restaurants and their recipes uh, compiled by Dottie Griffith, the food editor down at the Dallas Paper. It's a neat book. It's got also not only recipes, but it's got listings of, uh, of restaurants. So it's sort of a guide to the restaurants around Dallas uh, with uh, little keys that tell you, you know, the price range and the dress code and all of that, how to get there. A nice book with a lot of good recipes. We're going to do uh, lobster papaya quesadillas with pineapple serrano salsa. <laughs> and, and let's talk a little bit about papaya because it's a, it's a neat fruit and it's available to us now. Uh, more and more in the supermarkets, we're getting all kinds of things that we haven't had before in the supermarkets, and papaya is one of them. When you're picking out papaya, what to look for is this one is green, and you can tell because it's hard and it's solid and it, it, it's a it's nice looking, but it's it's hard. The the uh, as they kind of get ugly and soft, that's when they are at their ripest. So this one is a nice one. You can also get papaya now that's uh, that's dried. It's it's. Uh, it has a lot of sugar in it, so it comes out almost like a candy, but uh, that's available to us these days. Uh, here's a papaya with, uh, on the inside of one. Just to cut into it, take out those seeds. Uh, one of the things that I should tell you about papaya, if you, uh, it's one of the fruits, the enzyme of which, or the juice of which, is an, a natural meat tenderizer. Papaya enzyme is, uh, tenderizes meat, so if you want if you got a tough steak, you can pick out some of the pulp of the papaya and marinate it in that with a little oil, you, and you have a real tenderizing effect. Okay, let's get on with making lobster papaya quesadillas with pineapple serrano salsa. If you'd like to follow along as we make the recipe from this book, if you will get out this book, Volume 8 of your Cooking USA cookbook. Hope you've got one of these in your collection by now. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. And if you'll look up show number 551, you can follow along as we make this dish. Here's what you need for it. You need some, for the quesadillas, some flour tortillas, Monterey Jack cheese, lobster meat, and papaya, and some uh, cilantro, jalapeno pepper, and vegetable oil. And then for the salsa that goes with it, some fresh pineapple, tomato, uh, red onions, uh, serrano, chili peppers, and some cilantro, garlic, and olive oil. And a little bit of lime juice, pepper, and a little bit, touch of salt. Let's start by making uh, that salsa here. We have our pineapple in here that we've uh, either fresh or uh, canned that you have drained. And we'll add to that some of the uh, cilantro and some onion and uh, a little tomato and some of uh, these uh, serrano peppers. Get them all in there. That's good stuff. A little bit of, uh, of pepper, garlic that we have minced, and a little salt. Just a sprinkling of salt. And then some olive oil. Now just stir that around good and refrigerate it. And you have uh, the salsa that we're going to serve with it. Oops, save that. Okay, we'll set that aside. Move this out of the way a little bit, and we'll go on to uh, assemble our quesadillas over here. We have uh, a, a tortilla. We're using the, the flour tortillas again here. We'll sprinkle a bit of sugar. I'm sorry, sprinkle cheese on top of that. A little cheese. A bit of the cilantro. And some of the peppers. Spread that around. And here's our papaya. Just spread that a little few of those around. And there's enough in this recipe to make about six of these. So we'll just use part of it here. And our lobster. Sprinkle some of the lobster on that we've uh, cut up. Now you could probably use all kinds of different fish on this. It'd be good. There we go. Now we'll take another one of our tortillas, put that on top. Slide that onto a skillet, put some little hot oil on there, and fry that for, uh, oh, it's going to take a couple, three minutes, and then turn it over and fry it on the other side, and try not to get it all slopped all over the place. And when it comes out, then, uh, cut it up in little cubes here, serve your salsa along with it, and there's what you've got. Lobster papaya quesadillas with pineapple serrano salsa from a very nice book, Dallas Cuisine. We're going to do another very nice recipe right after this, so don't go away. Cooking USA continues in just one minute. We have a great dessert, a classic dessert, made possible 
by the dessert maker of the Borden's uh, Eagle brand sweetened condensed milk. It's a neat product. It's been on the market for a long time. And they do actually call themselves the, the dessert maker. You can make so many great desserts with, uh, with this product. And they've got a lot of those uh, recipes put together in the neat little book that uh, we'll tell you how to get us in our newsletter. But you can pick up a can. Pick up a can, and every, every can has got a great dessert recipe right on the back of it. So you see this? There's a recipe on the back of every can of uh, Borden's Eagle Brand Sweetened Condensed Milk. Great product. Been around for a long time. We're going to make a creamy lemon pie that is super simple and so good. Uh, takes three egg yolks and beat those together good. And then add your Eagle Brand and stir that in. And we want to get every drop of this stuff out of here, so get in there with a, a rubber spatula and make sure you don't leave anything in the can. And we'll just whip that together, and you're almost ready. This calls, this calls for double baking, really. You, you bake a pie crust, so we have a pre-baked pie crust. And then uh, we're going to put the, uh, the filling in and bake it again, just ever so slightly. It takes about uh, oh, 30 minutes at the most, and then cool it. This is lemon juice. And when you get, when you get the, the milk all uh, beat together with the eggs, stir in the lemon juice. Whisk that around a bit. And then all of this goes into our pre-baked pie shell over here. And into a 350 degree oven, as I said, for oh, about 20 or 30 minutes until it firms up. Now, you uh, garnish that up a little bit with some uh, whipped cream, lemon, and you've got a, a great one. Uh, Here's what it looks like when it's finished. You garnish it up with a little, uh, a little whipped cream, dollop with a little lemon on top. And uh, it, it, here's a little trick at the end of this. All. If you've got uh, lemons and you don't want to use but just a tablespoon or so, here's a good way to get a little bit out and not too much. Just take a fork and put a couple of holes, a couple of, of fork things in there. You can squeeze out just a little bit and you haven't messed up the lemon. You can keep that in the refrigerator and use it again. If you would like the recipe that we did from this Borden's uh, uh, from the back of the can here. Uh, it's in our newsletter, as are all of the recipes that we did today from Dallas Cuisine. And here's how you order that newsletter. Send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Cookin' USA, P.O. Box 148400, Nashville, Tennessee, 37214, and specify newsletter show number 551. That lets us know that it's these recipes that you'd like to have. If you'd like all of the recipes from this current series of Cookin' USA, they are available in Volume 8, and we also have uh, our Cookin' USA A to Z Tips book. A lot of good information in both of them. Here's how you order. To order the Cookin' USA Cookbook Volume 8 or Cookin' USA A to Z Tips or both, send check or money order for $9.95 plus $3 shipping and handling for each book to Cookin' USA Cookbooks, Post Office Box 148400, Nashville, Tennessee 37214. Please specify Cookin' USA Cookbook Volume 8 or Cookin' USA A to Z Tips or both. That's $9.95 plus $3 shipping and handling for each book to Cookin' USA Cookbooks, Post Office Box 148400, Nashville, Tennessee 37214. Or call 1-800-331-1000 for Visa MasterCard orders, U.S. currency only. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you'll join us again next time. Cookin' USA. is a production of Emerald Entertainment in association with Reedland Productions.